Welcome to the orientation video for the new generation Quan Escort 5 transmission. The video will demonstrate the various modes and features of the new Escort 5 transmission. From the driver's seat, the first thing you will notice is that the system operates without the need for a clutch pedal inside the cabin. The clutch in the Escort 5 transmission is electro-hydraulically operated by means of various sensors and switches through the electronic control unit. The Escort 5 uses the same shift pattern as previous generation Escort transmissions, namely Neutral Hold, also known as Park, Neutral, Reverse, Forward Up, and Backward Down sequential shifting. Turn the key to switch on the ignition. The multi-display cluster illuminates and the transmission is in neutral hold, also known as park position. Start the engine. Select the ED auto mode by pushing in the ED switch on the right hand side of the gear knob. The ED mode is activated. Select the high-low splitter mode SPL. The SPL mode is activated. Select the Economy ED mode. The Eco ED mode is activated. Select the Economy Roll function. The Eco Roll button is illuminated. By depressing and holding the service brake pedal, move the gear lever from the neutral hold into neutral position. To engage first gear for takeoff, pull the gear lever backwards and release. Notice on the multi-display cluster that first gear is selected. By still depressing the service brake pedal, release the park brake lever. You may now let go of the service brake and accelerate moderately. The control unit will now control the shift pattern according to the prevailing road and payload conditions. You are now operating the vehicle in full automatic mode. As you can see on the multi-display cluster, the gears are being changed for you. When you come to an end of journey stop, depress the service brake pedal and move the gear lever into the neutral hold position. Engage the park brake and release the service brake pedal. For reverse gear engagement, follow the same procedure as above, but with the exception of moving the gear lever straight backwards from the neutral hold position into reverse. Depress the ED button to deactivate the ED mode. Select the SPL function by depressing the SPL switch. While depressing the service brake pedal, move the gear lever from neutral hold to neutral position. Manually select gears by pulling the gear lever backwards to select first low. Push the gear lever forward for manual upshifting through the gears. To downshift, pull the gear lever backwards to engage lower gears. When the SPL function is activated, the shift pattern is as follows. First low, first high, second low, second high, third low, third high and so forth. The downshift pattern is in reverse order. When coming to an end of journey stop, depress the service brake pedal and select the neutral position by pushing the gear lever sideways to the right hand side of the gear shift tower. To select the neutral hold position, push the gear lever straight forward from this position. Engage the park brake and release the service brake pedal. For reverse gear engagement, Follow the same procedure as above, but with the exception of moving the gear lever straight backwards from the neutral hold position into reverse. In an emergency, when the gear shift lever cannot be released from the neutral hold position, when the service brakes are applied, remove the front cover of the shift tower and push the neutral hold unlock button to manually unlock the neutral hold position. The emergency gear shift switch
can be used to select neutral in the following positions, as well as one low, two low, three low, or reverse low. Park the vehicle safely, depress the service brake pedal, and remove the front cover of the shift tower. Locate the emergency gear shift switch and switch to neutral position before switching the emergency main switch to the on position. Set the emergency main switch to the on position. Select a gear using the emergency shift switch. To select one low, turn the dial from neutral to plus up. To up shift, turn the dial to neutral position 2, back into plus up position. To downshift, turn the dial to neutral position 2, then down to minus position. To select reverse low, turn the dial from neutral position 1 to reverse position. Confirm the selected gear before depressing the accelerator pedal. Caution note. It is not possible to change gears while driving using the emergency gear shift switch. Do not drive a long distance using this feature and have your vehicle checked by your UD trucks dealer as soon as possible. In closing, we will encourage that one always ensures that the ED, SPL, ED economy and eco roll switches are selected at all times for optimal fuel consumption. ED mode, ED engaged, economy ED, escort roll and splitter, foot brake on, first gear, bulk brake and accelerate. This is better. I can get used to this. and eco roll is engaged. We're running neutral. As soon as I touch either retardation, foot brake or accelerator, the vehicle will engage the correct forward gear. Kick down mode should work. Slow down a bit. Accelerate and depress accelerator fully to experience kick down and kick down. Manual mode. Select splitter. First gear, torque brake, accelerate. And remember to change gears. Retardation, first stage, second stage, third stage, and I have to 
take over that function as well. Manual is not that comfortable, eh? Definitely not. Walk break. Coming to a stop on an uphill, easy will start selected, indicated on the multi display, release the foot brake, magic, accelerate. 